This is not gold foil. It's the wing of a South American bee, magnified 300 times. And although this might look like a leaf, it's actually the armor of a tropical tree hopper. Insects, as we've never seen them before, each with its own surface structure. These images were taken by Levon Biss. He spent two years photographing the insects, and during that time, he developed a lot of respect for them. That surprises me how, how complicated these creatures are, and at the same time, how beautiful they are. Um, we have this cliched idea of the creepy crawlies being horrible or scary, and you know, they're just not. You know, if you look at it, I don't think there's one single scary picture in this exhibition. Biss named his exhibition Microsculpture. It opened on May 27th at the Oxford University Museum of Natural History. The museum has Britain's second largest insect collection, and Biss was given access to its archives. Entomologist James Hogan worked with Levon Biss to help him find especially beautiful examples. We wanted to have specimens that were not too big, because in general, a lot of large insects have been photographed before, you know, and people are quite familiar with those kind of images. So the specimens were based on uh, things that I knew had an interesting surface detail um, and would be interesting colours. Uh, so there's some insects that have really spectacular metallic colours, for example, um, which I knew would look amazing, uh, you know, after Levon had photographed them. Levon Biss took the insects to his studio in Wiltshire, where he began to experiment with microphotography. Before that, he was a professional advertising and sports photographer, a whole different world. The insect project made him rethink how he works. If you think about it, you know, an eye, the, the dome structure of an insect, is a very different shape and texture and contours to a leg, which could be hairy. Enough. And so the way I, I work is I treat every single, single section like a small still life. And each section has its own bespoke lighting technique to make that one particular section look as, as beautiful as it possibly can. Levon Biss combined 9,000 individual photos to produce the picture of the jewel beetle. Under the microscope, he moved the insect 10 micrometers at a time, a seventh of the width of a hair. It took him three days to take the series of pictures. A sterile workplace was top priority. You know, the tiniest amount of, of dust on these creatures comes up huge in the pictures. So you have to have quite a, a sterile environment and they have to be cleaned properly beforehand. The photographer put the pictures together on a computer. Working with this complex jigsaw puzzle paid off. He was able to create incredible close-ups. Each hair of the beetle can be clearly distinguished. Levon Biss's photos show the structure of the beetle's body and let us explore a new world. Insects are around us all the time. You see them all the time, but you don't really see them. It's only when you go all the way in that you can understand how amazing, how beautiful these thick creatures are. To enable this close-up view, the pictures were printed as posters up to three meters in length. Special printers from London were used to handle the huge amount of data. Back at Oxford's Museum of Natural History. The photographer and the entomologist both hope the show will get people interested in these insects. So this is this will have some kind of function. I want them to to have a newfound respect for these creatures, to to look at them in amazement, and you know, be astonished by them, and you know, fall in love with them. I hope that it will encourage people to study insects as well, not just appreciate them, but you know, uh, to study them uh, because they're just fabulous, really. Micro sculpture will be on show in Oxford through August. After that, the exhibition goes on a world tour so that people in other countries can also view the insects with new eyes.